Landscape. What's up, everybody? Hope we got to rotate here. Hope everybody's having a glorious day today. I guess I got the autofocus on. So, uh, welcome everybody to the Diving Show. Got a couple quick updates and a quick look at my arms room here. We appreciate everybody coming hanging out. Uh, quick update. We had the Caltech issue. I'll show you guys what had happened there. Um, we purchased this uh, about two weeks ago. And last weekend we went to the gun range. So it's clear. Um, what happened? We don't think it was a weapons manufacturer um, default at all. Um, I think it was an ammunition problem. And I did some further investigation and talked to some people about specific types of ammo. And I'm not the only person having problems. But uh, quick update. I called Caltech customer service. No problem. No issue. Oh, it was your fault. Blah, blah, blah. No, it was none of that. They asked uh, exactly what had happened and what parts was damaged. And they got my name and phone number and said parts are on the way. Awesome customer service. Didn't harass me. Didn't give me no BS or anything like that. Uh, yeah, got my dude. These things are straight out comfortable. If you guys want one, go over to Roman Atwood's um, Smile More store and get one. They're warm and they are extremely comfortable. So, but anyhow, um, they didn't give me a hard time or anything. They said, "What's wrong? What happened? What What do you think is bad?" Got my name, address, and said parts are on the way. That was it. So real quick, um, well, I'll tell you what happened. I went bang, bang, and then I tried to rapid fire. One of the cases stuck in the chamber, and when it cycled, it actually, the case stuck in the chamber, and it ripped the back part of the uh, round off and wedged it in the front of the bolt face. And then when it came back up, it picked the next round, and it actually stuck the round inside the case and went off the bullet went through um but it it blew some stuff back at me i'm good around no, no issues like that so i stopped cease assist and took it apart it took me a while to get it apart because there was pieces down inside there um, we got the old case out and i got it right here this is what actually was stuck inside the uh the case so um it blew this piece right here off the slide lock. It cracked the uh, upper housing. Right down here, you can barely see the crack. It cracked it all the way down. So they're sending me the new upper piece and a new um, lock. And then I actually ended up going over to their website. And I ordered the uh, RMR plate. And then um, I actually ordered the longer barrel with the thread and the muzzle brake. So that's coming in the mail as well. Um, and then we picked up, well, I picked up, I picked up this. By the way, this video is not sponsored by anybody. It's just FYI. I picked up this. So we're going to be putting this bad boy on the um, PMR 30. So, once you go red dot, you, you never go back. It's so much better than iron sights. So, this is what we got. This little bad boy is sweet. Um, turn it on here real quick. Come on. I don't think I put the battery in it. There it goes. I don't know if you got, there it is. You guys can see it right there. So, anyhow, uh, we'll get that back up. And uh, hopefully it's going to be a, a good day at the range with this little 22 Win Mag. Uh, I'm a big fan of small calibers and big calipers. So, this little 22 Win Mag is going to be sweet. Also, real quick, I... Uh, me and the wife was down in Florida, 
and we actually went over to Safety Harbor Firearms. We met Walter and his wife, and we took a tour of the shop, and we met Hank Strange. So make sure you guys go check out Hank Strange um, on YouTube, and also his B channel, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. It's a podcast every um, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from seven to nine. Um, Walter's on there, Babyface P's on there, Rob, he's got guests that come on like Rob Mills, uh, myself and companies, they all come in and talk about different things. I actually found out about this by watching, um, Hank's podcast and I just happened to be at the store and I was like, Ooh, let me check that out real quick. And I love it. This thing is so sweet. I mean, look how light it is. I mean, this thing is just glorious but anyhow so anyhow we were down there and we went and saw hank at studios and then we actually ended up going over to um hank's hacienda and we did some shooting some filming and some stuff and i shot walter's um keg 410 loved it um he also has them in 12 gauge and 20 gauge so i ended up ordering one paid for it they shipped it up here to Columbus, Ohio, Vance Outdoors, and then um, it took about 11 and a half months to get the um, paperwork back uh, for the investigation, the background check, where they do, and then that was the $200, oh no, it was a hundred, uh, $5 tax stamp on that one, I was thinking of a different item, it's a $5 tax stamp on the keg 410s. Um, Guy called me last week, said, got good news, your paperwork's in, come in, pick it up, done. So I called Walter real quick, and I was like, do you have any more in stock? And I'll let you guys know, Walter is currently not making these anymore. Uh, the four tens, now they come in different barrel lengths. Um, he's only got, no, this is left in the world for sale. Only six left of the four tens. There's only seven left of the 12 gauge and, or I'm sorry, four left of the 12 gauge and only six left of the 12 gauges. It might be four of the 12 and six of the 20. Anyhow, very limited item. It's $5 tax stamp. If you're wanting one, tomorrow morning, call Safety Harbor Firearms. So I will get it out here and show it to you guys. I have waited almost a year, but it was well worth, well worth the wait. These things are sweet. Put it right here. Now, if you guys are some of the older guys and you watch Miami Vice, you know exactly what this is. This is, uh, this one is specifically a 410. Um, water's got them in 12 gauge, 20 gauge. And like I said, very limited left in the world for sale. Um, if you're wanting one, that's something you need to do Monday. They're just shy of 600 bucks. I think he had one of them for 540. I apologize, Walter, if you're watching. Um, I read your message, but I forgot the details. But I know that everybody that these are a limited thing if you guys check it out i actually had my name put into it so this is forever mine <laughs> but it's clear guys there's nothing in it this thing is bad and you can sit and then shoot spray now you can also do it or you can do it as a pistol, more or less. To me, if somebody's breaking into your house, they hear that sound right there. That thing racking. More people know, more people around the world know that sound specifically. And they know you mean business. If you got that and you rack that when somebody's breaking into your house, somebody's going to think very seriously twice about what they're doing. To me, this is the ultimate home defense gun. Now, well, it only holds three rounds. Yes, it only holds three rounds and one in the chamber, but you can get buckshot. 
And let me see what I got here. I got a box. I actually got two different kinds. These uh, these are 410, two and a half, 1200 feet per second. Um, you can get them in slug, which this is the slug. And then you can also get them in the uh, uh, bird, bird shot. Um, says six shot. Says it's six shot, but if you get pellets, just like a twelve gauge. If you got a twelve gauge and you're using a shotgun at your house, one round, you know, thirty pellets. That's like a, a clip of or a magazine of thirty rounds. Uh, but this is the other kind that I got. Four ten, two and a half inch shells. Uh, Water, if you're watching. Think these will take, yeah, chamber for two and a half and three inch shells. Four ten bore, six, 16 and a half inch cylinder bore. So, and these are a smooth, smooth bore. Um, done. This thing is awesome. Got a safety on it. Now, this is actually a Mossberg. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is actually a Mossberg that water cuts down and redoes. There, there we go. And it's it's just awesome. And he makes this little piece right here and folds. This thing is just sweet. And you get a sling mount with it. You get this uh, pistol grip style. Now, like I said, uh, $5 tax stamp. And I was talking with the guy, wherever I take this, I have to take the paperwork with me because of the length of the gun. So I have a copy in my wallet. So if I ever go to the gun range and forget my other, my paperwork, well, I have it in my wallet. I'll keep that with me all the time. Um, it's just a copy. But the guy at Vance Outdoors um, said, you know, he went over that whole spiel. Wherever you take this gun, you shoot it. You got to have the paperwork with it. Um, just a sweet thing, dude. This thing, this, this is, to, for me, the ultimate home defense thing you can have. That sound right there, everybody in the world knows exactly what a shotgun sound is that right there i said it once before i'll say it again everybody is scared of the sound of a shotgun racking you get that right there somebody breaks into your house they know you mean business i'm not one of those all type of tactical shit type guys when i when my lights are out at my house and it's pitch dark black, you can't see. I can walk anywhere in my house, not stub a toe. I know where everything's at. And if I see a light, I'm not gonna turn a flashlight on and say, hey, stop. I'm just gonna like, look, motherfucker, you're breaking into my house. Drop, or I'm gonna shoot you. But if he's got a gun pointed at me, or if he's already pre uh, did rounds towards me and threatened my family and my home, boom, boom. So, this right here is one of my answers. This thing is sweet. Like I said, guys, there's only six left in the world of these for sale. Only six. Um, he's got six 20-gauge and four 12-gauge, I do believe that's what it said. If you're one one, call Safety Harbor Firearms tomorrow morning, Monday at like nine o'clock Eastern time, um, get a hold of uh, Walter down there. So I'm lucky I live in a town. We don't have a lot of crime around here. Um, there hasn't been anybody shot here in like 40 years. Um, there's no crime. The bank's never been robbed. The stores around here have never been robbed because there's a lot of these around. And Normally between four in the afternoon to about eight, nine o'clock, you can hear people shooting guns around here. Um, everybody where I live at is armed. Um, it's a glorious thing. Oh, by the way, 
to all my friends in California, if you have not heard, the 10 round magazine ban was overturned. It was ruled unconstitutional. So everybody out in California, congratulations. You can now, what did I do with mine? You can now have these. And let's talk about these real quick. These are D50s? 50 round drum magazines. These are awesome. And they suck. And I'll tell you what I use mine for. If I've got a new gun and I'm sitting at the range or out at a family farm or friend's farm and I want to zero my gun, these right here are totally the way to go. And that's the only reason I, I've got them and the only reason I use them. Um, if you're zeroing your gun, you don't have to break your concentration. You don't have to break your momentum and try to reload and lose your line of sight. Look, put a drum in. Get yourself on paper. Click, 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 click. Now, I will say this. If it takes you 50 rounds to get zeroed, something's wrong. Find out. It could be bad ammo. You could have a loose bipod or tripod. Uh, something, something's wrong. So go inspect your weapon. Now, with that being said, I actually only need a two-shot zero. You guys see down there in the corner right there, ATN. Um, they are a sponsor of the Tyvin Show, but they're not sponsoring this video. No, nobody's sponsoring this specific video. But ATN, they've got their new scope out. Um, 4K Pro, it's a day and night scope. And you're literally looking through a camcorder. There's no glass, per se, like a regular scope on your rifle. They literally took a camcorder, added a bunch of stuff, wrote some programs, manufactured their own device, and those 4K Pros are good out to a 1,000 yards. Um, Day-night sight, you can also get a thermal in that. If you're not wanting a scope and you want to get it in binoculars, they actually have the exact same thing available in binoculars. So if you're an investigator or something like that, what's up, Armin and Axis? How you doing? Uh, if you're an investigator and you need day night capability uh, and you can record with it, you can do it with you can record with that. Share your video, share your stream. You could also do it with their um, binoculars and other things. Um, they are Bluetooth. I think I had it right here. Um, yeah, here it is. Now, they've got a new version that's out. Oh, I'm going to talk about these real quick, too. Um, you can get their, their target finders. Now, this one's only 1,000 yards. You can get the 1,500, which is 1,500 yards um, target finder. But with the new 4K Pros, they have ones you screw into the end of your scope and it Bluetooths right over it and you zero it and do all that stuff. It's an all-in-one unit. Um, if you're getting into long-distance shooting and it's just yourself and you can't get anybody to go with you, that right there takes the second guy away. Um... But let's say you're out to the range and you have your child or your grandpa or somebody, whoever, and you're trying to tra uh, train them. You can take your cell phone, like what I'm using right here, or a notepad or anything that's Bluetoothable. You can Bluetooth that over to that device and you can sit and watch and see exactly what they're doing. You know, when you're sitting there and you're breathing, you'll see the people rock the gun up and down and it changes the crosshairs on and you can see that and you can help train them in shooting it's got a built-in level on it it's got a built-in left and right it's got uh, barometric pressure it's got temperature it's got gps 
you can record uh, 60 frames per second, 1080p. So like if you're a content creator and you're wanting to get, you know, a camera behind you and have you shooting and then you want to do another little um, window in there of the actual seeing inside the scope, that is the way to go. That literally right there, if, if you're going out to a thousand yards, that is an all one-stop shop scope. That's why I bought one. That's why I got involved with ATN and called them up and said, hey, would you like to work with me? This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm getting into. Would you like to be a part of it? And ATN, you know, that's their bread and butter. So, by the way, um, I've got two more coming that I bought. Um, we are having a 338 Lapula built by, uh, Fort Scott Munitions, as you can see them. We've got, I got their 243s right here. Oh, there you go. 243, I'll talk about that in a minute. AT, or, uh, Fort Scott Munitions is building the 338 Lapula. So, once we get that, um, uh, done... We're going to have one of the ATN scopes on it. And then we bought a silencer from Tom at Thunder Valley, a silencer, uh, silencer co, um, to put on that 338 Lapula. Um, we're going to be taking that bad boy out to one mile. Now, with that being said, May 19th, open to the public. Anybody can come. Shooting or not, it's $30. That goes to the range. I don't make any money off of that. That's just your range fee. May 19th, if you would like to come out to Thunder Valley Precision, it's just north of Cambridge, Ohio. Just just south of Kim Bolton, Ohio. Um, we will have the 50 cal from Safety Harbor Firearms there. If you would like to shoot it, bring your own ammo. Bring your own guns. Bring your own food. If you just show up and you want to hang out, that's fine. Not to be rude, I don't have ammo for everybody to shoot. I have to buy all my stuff, and I'm there specifically to collaborate, work with other YouTubers, and things like that. And we're going to be setting up for the main event, September 13th, 14th, and 15th, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, at Thunder Valley. It's called Creator Summit. So go over to creatorsummit.us. Scroll down, fill out the paperwork. Let me know if it's something you're interested. If you're a content creator, come on out. If you think that you would like to start a channel and get into creating content with guns and stuff like that, you can come on out. You're invited. It's $30. That's the range fee. Like I said, I'm not making any money off of this. That's just the cost of the range. For me to go and... Purchase the whole range. It's like twelve, fifteen hundred dollars a day. I don't have that kind of money. So I was working with Tom, and he's like, "Look, thirty dollars for non-members is my fee. So whoever comes out, they just pay that range fee, and you can come in." Now, the September dates is not open to the public. Upper, I heard from the ATF. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I heard from the United unfortunately, clipped water's nuts. True. Uh, I didn't catch that. Mountaineer, safety to harbor, there's safety harbor uppers. I heard the ATF, unfortunately, clipped water's nuts. True. As of right now, he is not selling any of the 50s. He's waiting on a determination back from the ATF to see if it needs to be stamped as a firearm. In order for Walter to protect himself, his business, and his family, he's like, look, I don't want any problems. I don't want any issues. Let's get our lawyers. Let's go up there. Let's talk to them. We took the product up, and they sat down. They had a big meeting. Now, this is all I know. He's just waiting on to the returned assessment or judgment of what is going to happen. Can he still retain and sell the uppers or does he have to serialize them and do that? So he's just ceased and assisted right now. He's not selling any of them, but 
Make sure you follow Safety Harbor Firearms as soon as he hears something. Dude, I'm telling you what. There's probably 2,000 people at a minimum that are waiting for Walter to say, hey, they're for sale. Get one. I don't know if he's putting people on a list, first come, first serve, or if it's just literally first come, first serve and go from there. I don't know. Uh, but that's the only information that I know as Walter is waiting for the paperwork, the, the determination of the ATF about the uppers. That, that's all I know. So, I'm just a guy like everybody else. I'm not in, but Walter is a great guy. I respect the guy. I've met him a few times. You couldn't ask to be associated with a finer gentleman, to be honest with you. Just like this uh, K410, you know, he gave me $50 off, and it was like $800 at the time. And I bought it. Well, they're for sale now for like 600 bucks. They're no longer making those. These, sorry. If you want one, call Monday morning. When you watch Hank's podcast, and Hank or Walter or Babyface or myself or Rod Mills or one of the other guests, when they call Dibs, my God, you better call Dibs and get on the phone first business day. There's only six of these in the world left for sale. Only six. It's a five dollar tax stamp. Like I said, it took about a year to get my paperwork back. Best home defense gun ever, from in my opinion, right there. And this is the 410 version. ZZ78, what's up, Mountaineer? Oh, you have Walter's adapter plate? Good deal, dude. Dude, Walter's making some awesome stuff, guys. All right, real quick. With the Creator Summit, um, GOA is going to be out there. Fort Scott Munitions is going to be there. ATN will have a rep out there. I've reached out to several other companies like Advance Outdoors and some others. I, I don't want to say their name or speak for them because I don't have the authorization to announce them since it's like an official event. I respect in what their decisions is and things like that. So we're waiting on a lot of companies to get back to me. We're like five, six months out from the actual event. So, but anyhow. Oh, and Safety Harbor Firearms is also sponsoring the event. Like I said, I've got the 50. Bring your own ammo. You can shoot it all day if you want or until your arm gives out. I shot 50 rounds consecutively. Boom, you know, and it didn't hurt my shoulder at all. That 50 actually has less recoil than a 30-30. Just the way... He's got the muzzle set up and the weight and the distribution and everything. Anyhow, another company that's going to be sponsoring Creator Summit is Goat Guns. You guys have seen them on Instagram. Make sure you go check them out right there. Goat Guns. This is a uh, M4A1. And they also sent me the Barrett 50 Cal. Uh, these are going to be made into a trophy. I've got three different ideas on how to make the trophy. Um, one of them is I was going to get like a G.I. Joe doll. Have him lay down and put the guns next to him. And then make like a little target and poke some holes in there. And have like a trophy of a G.I. Joe shooting these, these goat guns. So, we're going to do a separate video of actually putting these together. Uh, but Goat Guns is sponsoring the trophy for the Creator Summit in September. Um, we're going to have a little competition for long distance shooting. It's going to be based off of a point system. And the winner of the um, total amount of points will win this trophy. It's one to make something specifically as a trophy that you know, you've never seen anything else. And Goat Guns. Stepped up to the plate and donated both of these goat guns. Like I said, it's an M4 and 50 cal. So, shout out to goat guns. Check them out on Instagram. That's goat.guns. I think it is. I think there's a dot in there. So, make sure you check them out. Also, check out Hank Strange on Instagram. Um, WMMF on Instagram is the uh, official Instagram of Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. 
Also check out Hank Strange's uh, YouTube. Babyface P or is it Babyface underscore P or Baby underscore Face underscore P? Check it out. Check out Babyface. One way or the other. Awesome guy. He's into gaming and guns and stuff like that. But anyhow, we got our keg. 410 guys. It literally snowed here last night. So I can't I, I can't go out and shoot my my toy. But dude, I waited a long time for this thing. It's totally awesome. So oh by the way, I talked to Froman. Um today is my sister in law's birthday. And we're gonna be heading up to Columbus and getting dinner with the family up there. Later tonight, right around 9.30, 10 o'clock, we're going to do about a one-hour stream of GTA. Um, goat, oh, I'm sorry, Goat. Um, the Throw Man Show, also a Team Live member, um, is going to host the playlist tonight. Um, we're going to do NASCAR. So make sure you've got a NASCAR in GTA. Do it up, and we're going to do some NASCAR racing tonight. Um, here on the Tiger Show as well. So, but oh, I'm telling you. By the way, if you guys was asking, these right here are uh, a set of books from Time Life. I don't know if I can get can't get one out. Anyhow, these are the Western series by Time Life magazine. My dad bought these when I was a kid. So, they're awesome. Also, I had another guy asking me about my spotting scope and what I did. So, I'll show you that real quick. Um, I took, I bought this at Walmart. It's a Simmons, not a sponsor or anything like that. Um, the cat, I'll tell you what I did. This is the dust cover for the cat. I took a Dremel and I cut the holes out and then I cut a hole in the center and I put the cap on there and I took uh, silicone, like gasket material, and I put this down on there and then we sided it in and I've got it marked right there on there so it's straight. And then we took the uh, Logitech 920 and we put it on there and we set it dead center and we let it rest and dried. And what I do is, is I take this and plug it into my laptop when we're at the gun range. And this will allow you to see down range and record. Now, not only do you have the zoom of the actual item, you also have the zoom on the camera. So a lot of guys want to know, instead of getting like an extra cell phone or an extra camera and, to, and going downrange and setting it up and worrying about somebody else shooting your equipment or you accidentally shoot it or you've got it too close to the steel target and you get ricochet and it comes back and it destroys your equipment. This one's good out to about a thousand yards. Um, and then I can zoom in a little bit closer on it but I can't go over to the one mile. It's just the mirage. It's just a total blur, especially on a hot day. But this allows me to um, set it up and uh, record long distance as a separate video um, on the laptop. And you just do screen capture. I use a program called XSplit. If you look down in the description below, there's a discount code for XSplit. Um, just use promo code Tyvin um, on all my stuff down there between 5 and 15% and if you want to become a GOA member it's 25% off so I support the GOA Gunners of America and I also support Ohio Gunners of America so uh, shout out to Chris Dorr over there um, him and his brothers from Utah and Louisiana the other guy George Jennings the other guy on Facebook when they do their stuff so but anyhow guys that's pretty much it on the tour of the, the arms room here I got another little gun cabinet over there these are all my my dad's guns he's currently out of the country right now and then uh, oh I do have it on I didn't, I didn't know it was up here 
This is the uh, this is the HM Defense 308. Uh, this is the ATN scope that I was just telling you about. Um, this scope is dedicated specifically to this weapon only. Um, that's why I got two more. Now there are profiles you can take this off. Mark where you you put your scope. You mark it. You can set a profile. It remembers all of your settings and everything. And you take this off, and then you can put it on another um, upper, and zero it in, and save it. Uh, save the profile to that gun. I name all my profiles. Like this will be Tyvon's 308. The other one is the. We're picking up the uh, two, uh, 243 and the 65 Creedmoor from HM Defense. Um, they're in the process of building those right now. And as you guys can see, the diving show etched in right there. So, um, I've got the 338 Lapua coming from Fort Scott Munitions. I'll have one of these dedicated to that rifle specifically. Um, these, this, this is the 308. Oh, I'm trying to think what it is. I messaged Ward the other day. 250 Legend, 350 Legend round. State of Ohio for a hunting cartridge. HM Defense is going to come out with the three, I think it's called a 350 Legend. If you're interested, go over to hmdefense.com and uh, you can get the, I think it's called a 350. Uh, yeah, it's a 350, not a 250 Legend. But anyhow, uh, next week, or I'm sorry, uh, first week of April, yeah, next week, um, we are going down to HM Defense, and we're picking up the 6.5 Creedmoor, and then um, hopefully I can get the upper and the handguard for the 243, and bring it home and get it polished up, and then once they get their barrels and stuff in, um, we'll go down and have the 243 built. So, I'll have these out to the event as well if you want to check them out. Um, but as my personal guns, I mean, if you got some ammo, I'll let you shoot them. Um, I just don't have enough ammo for everybody to share. So, I apologize. But if you'd like to shoot this sweet bastard, you're more than welcome. So, and then we got a new bipod on the 50 cal. And I'll get that out. Let you guys see it. Yeah, it doesn't fit. It doesn't come with a dust plate, so I put a little rubber. I put the Michael Jackson Love Glove on, just so you guys know. Uh, I just updated the 50 cal from Safety Harbor Firearms. Now, I bought this stock, and it's just a steel tube, so I got a piece of uh, like foam for a cheek rest. I put that on there. Um, I actually picked this up from Walter when he said they were available. Like I said, when somebody calls dibs, you better call dibs and act and jump and be fast about it. This is serial number five from uh, Safety Harbor Farms. This is his lower. Um, I don't know if he'll have any available in the future. I'm assuming there will be um, at some point. But as of now, there's no more uppers, or I'm sorry, no more lowers available. Now, as far as the uppers are concerned, like I said, if you're just getting here, Walter is just ceased and assisted on sales of these. As soon as Walter gets word, and there it go, he will announce everything, and then you can get one of these 50 cows, AR-15 uppers. So, and then you got the bolt bolt action now you can get this with the magazine it'll hold five rounds or you can get just a single shot 18 22 29 inch barrels this one is the 18 yes yeah, the 18 um this thing is bad now 50 cows got a lot of force a lot of pressure a lot of you know vibration i bought this scope at a gun show in Zanesville. I think I paid 40 bucks for it. 
I've had sights on this, the regular iron sights, and they broke. And I needed a scope for this bad boy. And I bought this one for like 40 bucks. It's an Akashot. I mean, it's like an off-brand, just cheap version of it. And I probably, myself, I probably put 200 rounds through this. Um, Armin and Axis, if you guys will see in the, the chat there. Um, he's running all the pistol stuff for the um, Creator Summit. So if you guys are interested, Armin and Axis is the guy to get a hold of. We're going to do two-gun or three-gun competition. Um, we're still waiting some details about the range and different stuff we're going to use on the range for that. But Armin and Axis in the comments is the guy to talk to. But anyhow, uh, Armin and Axis put, I'm going to guess, a couple hundred rounds through it. Um, it's still flawless. Everything works. So, But I did update the um, bipod. So Armin Axis, I know you're going to love that, dude. Um, it doesn't do that back and forth sway thing like we had on the other other one because I just had a cheap bipod on it I didn't have money at the time to upgrade but I do now but anyhow with all the uh, rounds being shot this bad boy still works um, not had one issue with it like I said for you see these guys on YouTube you know the cheapest Amazon scope or the cheapest $40 scope on Amazon or whatever I bought this and I haven't had any issues with it. I mean, it holds on. Um, I did a lot of 600 yards with this, 600 yard shots. Um, we're going to take this bad boy out to one mile um, when we get back out to uh, Thunder Valley Precision. This thing is just glorious. Now, don't get me wrong. I've shot the Barretts when I was in the Army. I've shot the actual full 50 cal that mounts up on top. You got to rack the big slide, you know, fit full auto 50 cal is amazing. The Mark 19 full auto grenade launcher is like the ultimate, but the saw, I was issued one when I was in the army. And to me, that saw the five, five, six, that thing is just, it just shivers down. I mean, it's just, you, you go to bed with a grin ear to ear when you shoot a full auto saw. They're, they're that much fun. But the Barretts are nice. They are expensive. Um, not taking away from the Barretts or anything like that. But Walter's 50 cal is precision. Just as good as quality or personally better. I've literally not had to do anything to this at all. I put a little bit of spray on the slide. That's it. It's perfect. And for the money versus a Barrett, I would have bought this first before I bought a Barrett to begin with. But financially speaking, this is the best way to go if you're looking to get a 50 cal. They're not available right now. I do want to stress that. And as soon as Walter knows, he will let everybody know. But I will have this at the May 19th event at Creator Summit at Thunder Valley. Bring your 50 cal ammo. And I will have this at the September event as well. Bring your own ammo. And you're more welcome to shoot it. Um, enjoy it just as I have. Um, you can go out to uh, a thousand. No, it's 600 yards and one mile at Thunder Valley. There's only two targets out there you can shoot with a 50 cal. This thing is a steel target slayer. Um, I did post a video. I think Roy was with me. Um, we actually broke the target that was hanging out the 600s. All I did was I took a piece of bent steel and put it on the back of the plate and they, you know they welded it up or whatever. We actually broke the finger that hangs into the chain because there's so much impact and vibration. The vibration just beat itself to death and it snapped. So these 50 cows are literally awesome to shoot. With this one, 
like I said, I've shot over 60 rounds consecutively. My shoulder doesn't hurt at all. These things, I can't speak highly enough of these. So, but anyhow, with that being said, make sure you guys check out Armored and Axis. He's in the comments there as well. Um, we're going to do another update video probably next week when we get the um, parts in for the PMR 30. We have the new upper coming in. And then, um, like I said, we lost the bolt slide. So we'll get those two in. I bought the plate and I have the RMR right there. This is 22 win mag, not sponsored by the way either. Um, these are just ones that I get and I love. The 22 win mag to me is just an awesome round. I mean, if you look, that's all 22 stuff. And then I just picked up all these for the gun range for next week when we get our parts in. Um, Vance Outdoors had these on sale. Um, Fort Scott Munition doesn't make a 22 win mag, so I had to go over and get CCI stuff. And I was talking to a couple guys at Vance Outdoors. He said these right here are the best ones to get for home defense. I guess these things are just straight out knock a big boy on his butt. 50 rounds. What's the feet per second on these? Okay, these are uh, 1,700 feet per second muzzle. Um, at muzzle, 1,200 at 100 yards, 980 at 200. So... And then these ones here are um, 1,800 feet per second, but it doesn't give you the distance like the other one does. See, this other one's got it on the back. All right, focus. Focus. And the other one's done. But uh, I was talking with him, and he said to get the uh, Hornady Critical Defense. Um, these are what he uses for the house. And then all the other CCI stuff is great plinking stuff. Cody Boy 32 Tactical. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? So, make sure you guys check out Cody Boy 32. Awesome, awesome guy. In fact, um, we worked with uh, Cody Boy 32 there on this bad boy right here. This is the uh, HM Defense 9mm. And we worked out a deal with Cody Boy. And I got this sight mark um, from him. He does a lot of gun reviews, politic, uh, politic uh, discussions, and long distance shooting and everything. So make sure you guys go check out Cody Boy 30. Is it Cody Boy 32 Tactical? Go oh, yeah, Cody Boy 32 Tactical. Um, awesome guy. Make sure you check him out. Um, I do believe he is coming to the September event. Um, if you follow his channel, he's been getting into long distance shooting as well. Um, I went to the IV8888 IV event. Awesome event. Great people. Had a blast. It was just, it's one of those bucket list things, but you could go every year um, for creators and stuff, companies. Awesome event. It's probably, from the gun line out to the back, was probably 100 yards, 150 yards. I'm just guessing. I honestly don't remember. It was all full auto stuff, single shot stuff. I mean, it was everything. Had a blast. I'd do it again. I'm going to. But I wanted to do something different with my event, and that was getting into the long range stuff. There's only a handful of channels that do long range, like uh, Utah. Um, long distance shooting, um, and just to name one, there, there, there's only a handful of guys that do long distance shooting um, for social media. Well, I don't want to intrude on what the IV guys do, but I wanted to get involved back into the 2A stuff and go over there and do something different, but still be involved and make sure people know their rights and everything else. So that's when I went out and met Tom, the owner of Thunder Valley Precision. 
and told him what I was wanting to do. This is what I do. I'm a gamer and I'm taking part of my channel over into real guns because people need to know their rights. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse to tell the judge that sorry that I did it. Um, you need to know your rights. Uh, I'm a disabled veteran. I took the oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the people in the United States. I truly believe it to my heart. That's why I got involved back into the gun stuff because your rights are being trampled on. The Second Amendment is the only amendment in the Constitution or any other bill that specifically says shall not be infringed. Everybody says, oh, you're an American. You can say whatever you want, freedom of speech. No, no. You can't sit in a plane and yell bomb. That's against the law. So there are restrictions on the First Amendment. But it doesn't say in the First Amendment shall not be infringed. So, but the second does. And people need to know that, hey, your rights are being trampled on. Not only that, let's take all that off the table. America will never be invaded. America will never have an uh, a adversity or a enemy that would last any amount of time if they set foot inside the continental U.S. Why? The American population is armed. Go down and look at Venezuela right now. Great people, great country, but it's a socialist country. They tell the people what they can and can't do, what they can and can't have. Look at all the food shortages. A guy just can't take it on his own initiative to go over there and jump in that truck and drive it back across the border that's got all the food and supplies and medicine and bring it in and pass it out. As an individual, they can't do that down there because the government rules and controls. It's called socialism. It doesn't work. People get hurt. Well, that's why I did part of my channel over into the gun stuff. So everybody understands and knows. I'm an American. I live in America. I believe in my way of life. I believe in the, in the flag, what it stands for. I'm a Christian. And everybody should have the right to do and say how they feel. Now, when you get into all this political stuff, you know, if I told you you look ugly, well, you're going to get all defended and you're going to go call human resources and file a complaint. Look, suck it up. Stop being a baby. You know, if you're a man, grow a pair. If you're a woman, I'm sorry to hurt your feelings, but, you know, do something, you know, change your hairstyle, do whatever, or just don't give a crap what that person says. And this is my life. This is the way I look and you can like it or you don't like it. I don't give a shit. And that's just the way I am. But, you know, uh, people need to be aware of what's going on in the world. I'm not saying get into all the politics and have to go do this and do that or whatever. Just be aware of what is going on. Know your surroundings because what's around you affects your way of life. You know, that's just the way it is. But anyhow, all right, guys, with that being said, also check out HM Defense, not a sponsor. Um, go check them out. They got these uh, nine millimeters, uh, 308, 65 Creedmoor, 243, and they're getting ready to come out with a 350 Legend, I think it is. It's either 250 or 350. I think it's a 350 Legend. Uh, don't have any dates or any other information on that, but they have posted it on their website. Check out Safety Harbor Firearms, guys. Like I said, if you're wanting a Keg 12, a Keg 20, or a Keg 410, limited. There's only like six in the world left for sale. Or tax stamp. Took me about a year to get my paperwork back. Then I had to go fill out the form to actually purchased the, the firearm and then all of that stuff it took me about two hours at Vance Outdoors up in Columbus up there so shout out to Vance out there um the guy was helping me out nicest guy in the world I had questions about um, specific classes of weapons he answered all of my questions and everything out there so 
And then uh, shout out to Safety Harbor Arms. Thank you, sir. And shout out to Go Guns um, for sponsoring the Creator Summit we're doing. May 19th, I will be at Thunder Valley Precision. Come hang out. It's open to everybody. Free, uh, Open to the public. It's $30 shooting or not because I'm there. Uh, and we've got the event we're going to be filming and stuff. So 30 bucks. And then the event up to uh, September, it's $250 for companies to have uh, an area. Um, you're allowed two people per company out of that 250 that covers their range fees. Anybody more than two people, it's 30 bucks a person. Um, GOA is going to be there. Fort Scott Munitions is going to be there. ATN is going to send a rep. They're going to be bringing out some thermal stuff. So we're going to have that. Anything after 5 o'clock-ish um, at Thunder Valley has to be suppressed. So if you're into the suppressors and you want to shoot with everybody else going bang, bang, and you want to do suppress shooting, after 5 o'clock-ish, the suppressors only up till dusk. And then we're allowed about an hour and a half ish to two hours, depending, um, where we can run day night in thermal scopes um, on Friday night and Saturday night. Sunday at five o'clock, the event is officially over. At five, you will still be able to. Wait a minute, I think the range closes at four or five. So whenever the range closes on Sunday. That's it. Tom may let us shoot an extra hour. It's up to his discretion. Um, he's the owner. He he sets the rules. So check out Thunder Valley Precision Guy. Tom, the owner. Awesome guy. He builds guns too. Um, he does, um, I want to say, catered hunting trips. Mm -hmm. So go to Facebook. Check out Thunder Valley Precision. So, All right, guys. I'm off. Thanks, everybody. Like I said, 9.30-ish, 10 o'clock tonight. We're going to do about an hour GTA live stream here on the YouTube channel. I'm uh, going to do NASCAR, maybe one off-road, Bridge of Death. You know how it is. So. All right, guys. Y'all be cool. Be safe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, subscribe, like, share, retweet, and hit that bell for notification, guys. Also, follow me on Twitter, at The Tyvin Show, and Instagram, HC Tyvin. That's hardcore Tyvin. Been doing a lot more Instagram versus the Twitter stuff, but... I don't know, I'm a hillbilly. I like pictures versus reading a paragraph. So, all right, guys, y'all.